to my video, my fourth video. This one is going to be very hard to understand, so I'm going to try to make it as best as I can. I mean, this is very heavy, deep, very deep study of God's Word here, okay? So, uh, maybe watch this video twice, especially the first video about In the Flaming Fire. But here we go, Day of Judgment, we're going to have Peter, 2 Peter chapter 2 read, and then we're going to pick at it. And see what it really means, okay? So here we go, chapter 2 and 1. Second Peter 2. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly, and delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them, in seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations, and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness, and despise government. Presumptuous are they, self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring not railing accusation against them before the Lord. But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption, and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness, as they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. Spots they are, and blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. Having eyes full of adultery, and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls, and heart they have exercised with covetous practices. Cursed children, which have forsaken the right way, and are gone astray, following the way of Balaam the son of Bosor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness, but was rebuked for his iniquity. The dumb ass, speaking with man's voice, forbade the madness of the prophet. These are wells without water, clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lusts of the flesh, through much wantonness, those that were clean, escaped from them who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought in bondage. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein, and overcome, the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness, than, after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. Okay, thank you. Second Peter 3. <coughs> thank you for reading. So now we're going to pick at this here. It's, uh, there's a lot of information here. There is tons of information here. <coughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to get the context by looking and putting some little words back in to original the original Greek okay because this is definitely mistranslated here so one of them is number nine okay we're gonna get the context so this leads up to number nine but the angels here if you look at the angels God did not spare the angels that sinned but cast them down to hell again hell is a wrong translation it's Tartarus 
Peter uses the word Tartarus because it was a known place in the Greek uh, history that they were underworld, and it was it was a fake a fake gods. I mean, they, it wasn't true. It was from pagan. Okay, but he used that word because these angels that sinned in Noah's time, and uh, they came to the earth in, in, in Genesis chapter six and had sex with women. They sinned, and they cast them. God cast them down to to Tartarus and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved. So this word here is into the day of judgment. Okay, this is into, always translated into. It's not onto or to or at. Right, into, into the day of judgment. So this here, when you look at this, these angels, it's been reserved for them into, into judgment. We know that this is the judgment day. Okay, so if you look at, So if you read it here, the, if indeed God, the angels, have been sinned, not spared, but in change of gloomy darkness, so this is in, a, in Tartarus, this word is Tartarus, having cast through the deepest abyss, but this is the word Tartarus, 50, 20, and delivered them for or into, this word is into, as, as we read, judgment being kept. So these angels that have sinned, they are being put into darkness, so they are in this Tartarus because they wanted to be sorry for their sins. They came to God because there was a judgment called, and we're going to see that in the next, in chapter 3, of the heavens, because the angels need nothing to be taught to them about. They know the truth. They are in front of God. They, they know everything. There's nothing that you can tell the angel good or bad, about the truth, because they know everything. They're, they're, they're sitting in front of God, okay, literally helping God create all the universe, all the creation on the earth. They're workers with God. So these angels, they were felt sorry, and God spared them, okay. It says not spared them, but he, because the other angels did not want to go into Tartarus. These are judged already. Satan, all his demons that are flying around here today, are completely condemned they are gonna die okay but these ones are are kept into day of judgment so that they've done their time they come with a clear conscience we'll see that too in first Peter and they are saved okay if they listen and change into the day of judgment like you and me going into the day of judgment okay so these these ones are being kept for the into the day of judgment okay now we'll go back to second Peter so this is what Paul meant when he said we're going to judge angels because they're, these ones are, 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 are being kept okay, for the day of judgment, into the day of judgment. And so are the people here. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve, there's a word again, to be kept the unjust into, okay, this again, into, this word is into. Always translated into, okay, into the day of judgment, like the angels, to be punished. Now, this word punished, okay, is, is a wrong translation. This word, believe it or not, is not even close to it. This word is 2849. You can do research on your later. This word means to be pruned as a tree to be pruned. Okay, so these these people are the ones are delivered away from the good people because they're, they're bringing temptations to the good people that are listening in the flame of fire because this is the day of judgment here and these people are are put into into the day of judgment okay to be pruned okay so prune means like a tree so that you can bear more fruit okay so let's just go to one scripture we're in John Chapter 14, uh, 15, where Jesus said, Every branch, so I am the true vine, and my Father is, this, the, actually this word is based on farmer. Okay, he's a, a cultivator. Okay, he's the one that makes it happen. Every branch in me, the, 
the the uh, beareth not fruit, he's taken away. But every branch that beareth fruit, he Jesus prunes. Okay, there's that word prunes. Okay, and it may be, it may be, bring forth more fruit. So you see what it's saying here. So this is this is the word pruning here, pruning. So Jesus pruned them so they can bear more fruit. Okay, and then now you are clean, or again pruned. This word is the same word. Okay, this word is the same word. Twenty five thirteen, as this word here, is the same word. Twenty five oh you know you know oh eight. But you have been pruned through the word which I have spoken unto you. Okay, so this again, you've been pruned, clean or pure, to be physically or pruned. Right, pruning, this word pruning, or you know, bearing fruit. So one time I was at a, I want to share a, a story. I was at a farmer getting apples, and I said to him, who, who who prunes your trees? He says, "Well, a guy a guy from from Jamaica comes up. He's really good, and he prunes all the trees for me." I said, "Don't you do it? You're the owner." No, no, you have to know what you're doing. It's very hard to prune. He says, "This guy from Jamaica, he's so good. He there was a tree that I was concerned about. Every time I walk through all the trees, I see this one tree that was really on one side was really bad." It was not bearing fruit. It was all dead. He pruned it. And then sometimes when I used to walk through and look at my trees, I could I could hardly recognize that tree because he pruned it for two or three years. And, and I could not see the tree. I would have to really look at it. Oh, there it is. Because he brought it back to the whole tree. Pruning brought back more fruit. Okay. So this is what this word here means. Okay. Now, now, since we got this word, pruning, to, to be, you know, like wings of, of, of a bird, okay, so it can bear more fruit. So now, this is into the day judgment. Now, by 10, verse 10, all the way to the end is into the day of judgment. This is not today. This is actually looking into the future, okay, of the day of judgment, the thousand years, in Second Peter chapter three, we're going to read. You know, read that in my next video. Is the thousand years? You, right, you can, I mean, well, you know, we're not going to look at that right now. So now, this pruning. But number ten, but chiefly. But this is mostly being pruned. Okay, you got to go with the what the word means. People are not seeing this, especially or mostly. This word is actually mostly chiefly or mostly especially them that walk after the flesh in lust of uncleanness okay so there there some bibles to to destroy it right uncleanness to defile it is what the word means to defile to act defiling it a defilement so to defile the flesh okay so gross sin that would be okay so now again, number 10, all the way to the end of the chapter is, is context is in the day of judgment. He's looking in the future here. And he's, he, this is how the Holy Spirit is pronouncing, and while God would be pronouncing it to the Holy Spirit, they're translating it to, to Peter to write this, okay? Now here, what, what we're going to do is we're going to look, because this is all wrong translations here, okay? So we're going to go back. To Second Peter, I'm going to go down to. So, as you can see here, knows the Lord to deliver unrighteous, moreover, into the day of judgment, be punished or being looped off to keep these people are being kept. Okay. Especially or mostly, moreover, those after flesh in the passion of defilement. Walking in authority, despising, they are bold, self-willed, against the glorious ones. Not they are trembling, but they're blaspheming. Okay, these glorious ones are angels. Because the next verse we're going to look at is, is, is telling you that these are angels. 
So what they're doing here is they're blaspheming the angels, the glorious ones are the angels, because it says, whereas angels in strength and power are greater, being not to bring against them, because they're, they're talking to them before the Lord, a blaspheming, this word is blaspheming, as you can see in the other one, right? they don't blaspheme back the judgment against them. They don't blaspheme, because 989 is here, is 987, it's the same word, blaspheming, but they translate it wrong. It's, they don't blaspheme back or any judgment against these people that are not responding to the word. Okay, so these are angels, again, in the flaming fire. Okay, so they're bold. I like the word bold. Here this, it says bold in, in, in 5113. You know, this reminds me of a, a person letting the air out of tires of a policeman in a police car, being in the car, you know, leaking the air, you know, deflating the tire while the police is, that's bold. Okay, so this is how these people are reacting to, to these angels here. They're very, very bold. Okay, so again, the angels are doing all the work. So these are animals. You know, they need to be, you know, we're going to go real fast here because I want to keep it, I'm going to look at the bottom here, blaspheming and night in destruction of them also they are destroyed. They will be destroyed. This is completely wrong translation, even inter, in the, you know, interlinear. All these words, 987 is blaspheming, but this word 50, 53, this one here, is, is corruption, okay? See the word corruption there? And they're all corruption. This one too is corruption, okay? They're all the same word. And, 50, and, and there's, there's three words here. It's all corruption, okay? Corrupt self, okay? So, again, this is wrong translation here because you don't see what's going on here. They need to be, they're like creatures for capture and, 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 and they are corrupt in what they are ignorant, arrogant, and blasphemy in the, the corruption of them. They also will corrupt. This is how it's read. Okay, so they got, you have this destruction over here, right, destruction, then, you know, this one here, and, and then, and then that's, you know, down here is destruction again, and then to be destroyed. So totally wrong translation. These people are not being destroyed. These are corrupting people, and they're corrupt themselves. Okay, so very interesting. So if you keep reading, we're going to go back. So, again, I'm trying to put some light into this is very hard because you have to look at every word. It's hard for me to sit here and tell you and show you every word of, of what's going on here, okay? Because this is totally, I'm using King James, but it's totally distorted, okay? Like, definitely, because we're not seeing, once you get this flame of fire in your, in your mind and you know the truth, and when you read this, and you look at all the words, it changes everything because it's not translated. So this is number 12 is what I was talking to you about. So they, so they, you know, they destroy, speak evil things that they, they not understand, not, and they show, be perish in their own corruption. So they translate the one word corruption correctly, their own corruption. Okay, so they translate that, the right corruption. Okay. And then perish here. It's, it's the same word. It's corruption. They, they go on to spoil or to corrupt. Okay. And then destroy again. So you got three words all different, but they're all the same word. Corrupt. Again, corruption. Okay. So these three words here, they're all, only the one, this one here is the only one that's translated properly. Okay. So, but these naturally brute beasts made to be to be and destroyed now to be corrupt they're corrupt so they speak evil things because they're corrupt they're, they're, they're completely corruption that they understand not okay and they shall corrupt and they they walk or they are literally corrupt but they are corruption you have to look at interlinear to see this is totally wrong translation you don't get the meaning it's it's been distorted and it's just, it's just, it's hard to understand because you gotta look at every word. But I'll leave that up to you. 
again, this is all into, into the, the thousand years here, having eyes of full of adultery. So here, this is a very interesting, these are wells without water, number 17, okay? And mists of darkness is reserved forever. Again, it's not forever. Okay, this into the age, into this new, this word is age, okay, into time, into the new times, not forever, into this new age, for, or into, but if you look at, into, you know, kingdom, you know, linear, it says into the age, these, you know, these are kept in darkness, okay, are reserved in darkness, into the age, into the time of the thousand years. So whom, whom, you know, the mist of darkness, I mean, these are, like I said, God's day is gloomy and, and dark for those, all the prophets, Joel, you know, he, you know, mentions all these things. So again, there's the word corruption again, the servants of corruption, this is the right translate, 53, okay, if you notice the same word. So now, after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, through knowledge of the Lord Savior Jesus Christ because they've been taught this okay and if you look at number 21 at the end from the Holy Commandments delivered to them who's doing this well we know the angels in the flaming fire is doing this so this word knowledge here is they have accurate knowledge of the truth this word is 1922 okay remember that 1920 it's full discernment okay full discernment Full discernment here. Okay, full discernment. They know everything. They're not lacking anything. Okay, they have full discernment of the truth. Of Christ Jesus. Okay, actually the truth. Because that is the truth. Jesus is the truth. Okay. And then it's because that they have the accurate knowledge. They go back into, because they, they get bored. If you know any sort of a drug addict you know, that comes out of uh, jail or rehab. He, he, it's hard for him to do what's normal because for normal to go get a job and pay his bills and get married and have kids, you know, he, he's bored. He goes back into the drugs again. One day he just AWOLs. He, 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 he steals from his boss. He goes get drugs and he's gone. His wife, he AWOLs. He goes back. So it's better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. You know, this is the word again, doing what's right. But things that you ought to do Okay, if you look at this, you know, is the state of him who is as he ought to be, okay? So, so he, he knows what to do, the righteousness, okay? So again, this is very interesting, 21 again, the holy commandments were delivered unto them. So here it says, he quotes the Proverbs, it happened to them according to two Proverbs, and we know what's happened to them, a dog turns back to his own varmint and eats it, and a pig goes back to the mirror after being washed. He goes right into the mud again. So, this is very interesting. So, this knowledge word here again is 1922. Okay, 1922. Just a real fast. This is 1922. Full knowledge word. Full accurate knowledge they have, these people. Paul, or Peter, finishes his, his letter. In, in number 18, it's very interesting. And grow in grace and in knowledge of our Lord Jesus and Savior Christ Jesus. Now he's back into the earth again. Now he's back into his time, okay? Because the Holy Spirit is writing about the future. That these people have full knowledge. The sun, the moon is shining on them. They're no more in darkness. But here he says, go on growing. After he writes that, he himself says, go on growing in grace you know, and knowledge, this word he uses is, is a different word. It's just knowledge, right? Just knowing, knowledge. He doesn't use 1922 because it's not the proper time here. He doesn't have it. If you look at First Corinthians chapter 13 about when the Lord comes, the perfect one comes, then the mirror, it won't be foggy or fady. It will be accurate knowledge like how I'm actually knowing. So this is very interesting how he closes the letter here, okay? Because he doesn't use 1922. So, like I said, I study every word, and I want to get the sense of it. So this here, false prophets, definitely it will it will come because, you know, and then this word destruction, again, it doesn't show up in the Bible, is by their own ruined. Okay, the word is ruined. Okay, ruined. This is the word, 
is ruined. Because back in those days, they never had destruction. The door, this word doesn't, it doesn't mean, it, it, the destruction means it's finished. No, these people are swift, rooting themselves. Okay, this is very, it's like, how can you destruct a car? You can't destruct, you know, destruction a car, but you can ruin the car. The, but not changing the brakes, not changing the oil. Okay, so that's what, this is happening here. So you got to put that word back in there. And then you see it more clearly. Okay? So very interesting. And these angels again, these are, you know, into Tartarus. They're thrown for it to reserve, being kept into the Day of Judgment. So a very fast thing here, because I'm going to try to make this video short, because we're going to have the second video. And this one scripture, Matthew, chapter 12. And then this is what Jesus says about the day of judgment. Okay, this is very interesting. 36. He's talking about the day of judgment here. Way down in 36. I hope uh, this is easy to understand. But I said to you that every word that man shall speak, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment, in the thousand years. For by thy words they shall be justified, and by the words that should be condemned or judgment. Okay. So this is very interesting because here he's talking about day of judgment. So the word, if they blaspheme back, they're going to be condemned or judgment against them. If they want to listen and they're nice and they know we love the flame of fire, we want to hear it. When they, you know, this is in the day judgment. We want to change. You, they will be very comfortable living, not gloom and darkness over their head, right? Because if you look at Joel real fast, got a little bit of time here, in chapter two. Okay, so here it says, "Blow the trumpet, Zion, alarm in the holy mountain. Let all the heavens of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is cometh." Okay, the day a day. A thousand years, darkness, gloominess, a day of clouds, a day of thick rudeness, morning spread upon the mountains, a great people, a strong. So this is the point here about this, this the day of, is it gloomy only to those, or is reserved into the age if you don't listen. Okay, you, you got to change. The angels are trying to loop you, cut you, mostly those who go after flesh. So very interesting. Uh, you can read on the interlinear. I want you people to do research on this, like I did. I mean, I can't sit here. It would take hours and hours to go through every word. So again, I'm going fast here, trying to keep this down to 25 minutes, and uh, so that it's not, you know, uh, you know, so long as my first one. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to let this go now. It's uh, 28 minutes. I will see you in B question. We're going to look at Second Peter chapter three. It's a very interesting you know, chapter if you want to do research. Okay, and again, this is very heavy stuff. We're going to go through it. Thank you for watching. Look out for my second, second Peter B, B number chapter 3. Thank you for watching.